got this kind of hobby grade filter. It seemed to work good for me in the past. So that's what I'm going with. I'm gonna build two sides down here. I'm gonna use these L brackets, just like so. And uh, build my walls. And then I have a roof that goes up on top. And then I get some LED lights in here. Uh, but this should be a lot bigger than what I had before. Not ideal, but I've got a skill saw, a drill, and limited tools. So it'll be better than what I had before. And I think I'm like $30 into the whole setup. These were like $8. These brackets were like $0.32. Cents. Um, so it should be a lot better overall. I got this on Craig or on Facebook Marketplace uh, about a year ago. Um, eventually, it'd be nice to have a real nice blower system, but I don't know how hardcore I'm going to get into it. But it's nice to have a clean, bright white setup for painting, so this should work for what I'm trying to accomplish. So I'm a little concerned with how much static this whiteboard material seems to show. Um, might not be the best for airbrushing, but uh, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. Like, again, I'm $30 into this experiment. So um, before I have literally hobby grade foam board. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry if it's too bad. Got a lot of house projects to do. You can see my workbench is ridiculous. Obviously I've been using one of my ceiling fans as a distribution weight. Um, but get the rest of the components here. I'll start drilling the holes and mounting the brackets and start seeing some life come out of this bad boy. sides on as you can see it's pretty easy work hardware is too long but i'll fix that later just what home depot had not stoked on the lid though um, as you can see it bows it's also not uh, the corners are all bowed up i don't know whether i just get some nicer wood or run some stringers across it i'm gonna be hanging led lights from it as well so might need to uh, revisit that one, but take it off. It's pretty, it's pretty decent actually. Uh, pretty strong. I think once we get, you know, this attached to a top, it'll be pretty legit. I thought about making shelves on the side, uh, shelves up here for the paint. I just haven't decided what I want to do yet. Um, again, cheap DIY, but uh, it's getting there.
All right, I got my portable AC out here, so uh, excuse me if it's a little bit loud and ignore my ghetto blinds. They're all something I'm gonna fix, but it feels good having that bad boy blow on me. So the lid that I had, it was sagging, and I don't wanna buy a bunch of stuff to make it better. Again, this is kind of a budget setup. So I got this uh, eight foot section here. It was $6 at Home Depot. Uh, but now I have a brace and then I got an end cap. I got LED lights. I'm gonna put one on this side One in here and then uh, I'm sure you guys seen my my ghetto holder, but uh, It is what it is. I'm just making do with what I got but uh, Now I'll throw this top on there and get it secured down and then start running some of my uh, wires my lid on there i think i might get some white silicone caulk and caulk the streams here you can see up top here i still got a gap um i might use some ceiling tape and just tape down the edges all the way around to keep that uh, ghetto but again i'm less than 50 bucks into a new booth uh, we've got a nice little gap up here See the brace there? Now I got a nice section to mount my lights. So I'm gonna go grab my lights here and see where those bad boys are gonna go. All right, so these are the lights that I bought off of Amazon. Um, I have some experience with a similar version of these in the eight foot section um, and they work fantastic. The cool part is, is they have an in and an out on both ends. And so you can daisy chain these together um, we ran three um, on each little power cord last time, and it worked out great. And that was with eight footers. Um, obviously, these are, uh, what would we say? These were 18 inches? I don't know. 24 inches is what these guys are. So they work out super nice. They come with these clips. Make it super easy. Metal clip. You screw them in there, and then they just snap into the rail system. Um, these screws are going to come up through the top, which I'm aware of, and I'll probably just cut those flush at a later date, but uh, you're going to go up right up here, just like this, one on each side. I'm, I'm honestly worried they might be too bright, because um, I, I already plugged them in, and they're crazy, crazy bright, but uh, we'll see. Boom. 
Lights are in. Plug them in real quick. There we go. Boom. I'm wondering if it's gonna flash in the light. Just because it's like it's flashing in the camera a little bit, but it's typically what LEDs do when they shoot them on camera, but holy cow, that's bright. All right. So now I ordered some shelves. The shelves will be here tomorrow. Now these cool shelves, they're gonna bolt up right here for all my inks, or my paints, if you will. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. All right, so you can see kind of what the finished product's gonna look like. Plenty big, this, this mat's 35 inches, so it's perfect. It should be plenty bright. That's a six foot table, I think. Oh, it might be, it's an eight foot table, sorry. So plenty of room, filter in there. I'm excited to put this bad boy to use. I ordered these um, nail polish wall racks off of Amazon. Comes with six. Um, and it's these little acrylic, nice clear acrylic shelves. It's gonna fit on my walls perfectly. Um, and check this out, I'm gonna hold the paint. I hold the paint perfectly. So I'm gonna do some measurements here, see how many I need. I can decide if I wanna do three on each side or six on one wall, leave one side for my paint brushes and everything else. Um, but either way, it should be pretty nice. So I'm gonna work on figuring out that. And then once I figure out which route I wanna go, I'll start uh, doing another time-lapse video. Got ahead of myself a little bit and just went ahead and mounted the first three. I'm gonna fill up what paints I have and see if I need to add the other ones right now if I wanna wait. Well, I quickly filled that one up. Um, I've got paints here. I know I have more paints, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the other three shelves over here. Got all my paints in there. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm not too shabby. I think that's gonna be it for this round. I'm gonna start putting her to use. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Um, nothing special, but you know, it just goes to show that you can you can build these things for a lot less than what you think by just being resourceful, shopping around, using Amazon, Home Depot, and just not using your normal set of bags and tricks, but looking outside the box.